Hey everyone, Sergey Praknevsky here from EucarMedia.com, and in this sixth Learn from the Pro series on Adobe After Effects, we're talking about understanding the project panel. In the next five videos, we're going to be creating this title animation. And if you want to follow along, you can download the project file with all the assets by clicking on the link below in the description area. All right, so we are in After Effects and we're going to talk about this project panel because if you're new to After Effects, project panel is very important. It is the beginning and also the root of every project in After Effects. This is where we bring in all of our assets and this is also where we create composition. So if you want to find out what is possible within this project panel, all you have to do is just right click and then you can see all of the options you can take. You can create a new composition, you can create a new folder and you can import like a single file or multiple files and all these other things. So if you're new to After Effects, I would just camp out here for right now and also in here as well. So the rest will come later. But I hardly ever use this right-click feature. What I do use are these icons in here or just simple keyboard shortcuts. So if I want to bring in a file or multiple files, I don't have to right-click and go to import and then file. That's one too many steps. I can either use a keyboard shortcut or I can just double-click in here and then it's going to take me to the import file window. Then I can just select all of my files and then press import. And now we have it in our project panel here. So next, if I wanted to create a composition, again, I don't have to go right click and then new composition. I can just go over here and click on this icon in here. Just click on it and then it's going to bring up this pop-up window. And here we're going to title this one, title animation. And then we're going to go to preset. We're going to set it to HDTV 1080 29.97. So when you do that, it's going to set width and height to this and then frame rate to that and duration. Make sure you set it to five seconds if you want to follow along. Then press OK. And now we have a new composition. So that's great. That's how we bring in our assets. Again, you can bring in your audio, anything you want in here. However, as you start bringing in more assets, it gets very cluttered in here. So what you want to do is create some kind of a structure. And if you work with other people, you want to make sure that all of you have the same structure. And to create that structure, we use folders. Again, to create a folder, you can either right click and click on this new folder, or you can just click on this icon in here. So now it creates a new folder. You can call it something like 01 underscore comps. So that's where we can put our comps. So we can select this composition and just move it in here. Then we can create another folder. Again, click on this icon. We can call it 02 underscore assets. And then we're going to select all of our assets. We're going to drop them in here. Now you can be more organized. You can create folders within here. You can create folders for your images, for your footage, for your audio. You get the idea. So you can be as organized as you want, but we're going to keep our project like this. So next, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into this composition and we're going to start building our composition. So I'm going to select this image. We're going to move it in here. Now we have an image. Next, I'm going to select this dots video and I'm going to drop it right on top of my image. And this animation just has a subtle kind of dots turning into pluses. So it's just a subtle animation that we can use as our background animation. Next, we're going to create text. So I'm going to select the type tool and I'm going to go to the character panel. If you're not seeing this, just go to window and make sure character is checked. So in this character panel, that's where I'm going to keep my values. Add size is going to be set to 100 and then font is going to be set to Adobe Clean. But you don't have to go with what I have. You can go with anything you want. So then I'm going to click right here and we're going to create our first text. I'm going to paste these two lines. Something like this is good, but you can type anything you want. So next, what I want to do right now, my anchor point is kind of floating out here. I want it to be in the center of my text. So to do that, we're going to use a keyboard shortcut, Control Alt Home to center the anchor point. And then I want to center this text to the center of my composition. So to do that, again, use a keyboard shortcut, Control Home. And then I'm going to select it and kind of move it to the edge right about here to where it's somewhat lined up with my elements. All right, so we're almost there. Next, I'm going to take this Illustrator file. It's just a simple rectangle. We're going to drop it right above here. We're going to zoom in here and make sure snapping is checked. Then I'm going to take my mouse cursor and click and drag this bottom left corner here until it snaps to the text. Something like this is good. And I want to make sure the gap is somewhat consistent. So something like that is good. You can use the up and down arrow keys to line it up. So something like that will work for me. It doesn't need to be perfect. So we have officially created our first composition in After Effects. And this is how we use the project panel. All right. Well, that's the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. In the next video, we're going to talk about using pre-comps in After Effects. I'll see you there.